Next Eyewitness News is breaking, working breaking news out of Providence at this hour. That's where police are investigating a fire at a home on Wilson Street. The blaze broke out around 8.30 tonight. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Julie Raditsky. She's live on the scene with the breaking details. Well, luckily, no one was living in this home, but still some tense moments for firefighters and for neighbors. The fire breaking out at this single family home on Wilson Street around 8 o'clock. Firefighters tell Eyewitness News they had some difficulty with a faulty fire hydrant, but were able to get the blaze under control. Rudy Espinal says he heard what sounded like an explosion shortly before the house went up in flames. It must have been terrifying. You live right next door. Yeah, it was very terrifying. I was just afraid. I just pulled my family out of the house. That's what I did. Yeah. Nobody lives in that house? No, nobody lives there for a long time. Deputy uh, Assistant uh, Chief Paul Thomas. Thomas. When we arrived, heavy fire was, was coming out on uh, the left side and the right side rear of the house, threatening houses on both sides. The first company uh, pulled a big line and, and, and applied water. We had a problem early on because the first hydrant we tried to use at the corner of Elmwood was dead, no water. So we ended up having to lay about 700 feet down Wilson Street in order to get a water supply. So that was that was an issue in the early going, getting, uh, getting a water supply established after hitting a dead hydrant. And once those water lines were established, the fire was put out fairly quickly. The cause remains under investigation tonight. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Julie Roditsky, Eyewitness News.